it's to me it's really visual that there's something about when when you know it's taking a, a you know a 2d shape and projecting it through space I don't know it just it's like <laughs> Alice in Wonderland going into the looking glass I think it has a magical quality about it um, and you can really bring them to life I'm freezing my tail feathers off well this is a shadow puppetry performance of the mitten, a Ukrainian folk story, a children's tale that's been reworked for Colorado and the modern times. <laughs> <laughs> and this story, uh, this production is COVID safe, which is very important. So it takes place all outside for the audience members and inside for the puppeteers and everybody is distanced and safe and some family friendly, happy theater time during COVID. <laughs> So basically what happens with one of these shows is Julie and I will storyboard the idea and Julie's a much better artist than I am, so she draws them. <laughs> and so we storyboard the idea and then we kind of figure out like what the beats are that mm -hmm. we need. And then for this production, we took that to Caitlin. She was able to create a script out of that. Meanwhile, we and another designer are designing the actual puppets themselves. And so it's a combination of things being drawn, things being reworked on the computer, and then we actually print them out. For any configuration, or do you like just sort of the, the like, sweaters? Okay. You can do a lot of um, really interesting visual, like cinematic effects that mm -hmm. aren't, aren't in this type of puppet world. Um, and as you guys will see, we can do some layering and all sorts of things that make it feel a lot more kind of like a movie. People know it's not real, but you kind of suspend your disbelief a little bit, and I think that really draws you into the world. Theater died last year, and that was um, really tough for all of us. And so we did a lot of brainstorming about how we could create a theatrical experience that was safe for people, and it did fantastic, and that's why we're here. So, I mean, personally, it's just people being able to experience the joy of theater because they can't do that right now in a regular situation. And so I think it's just so great that we're able to not only bring the joy of theater, but also expose people to puppetry because a lot of people don't know how cool puppetry then the is. Man, then there's a cross cross. Yeah. And that's, we're okay with that. Okay. We don't want to try to cross. And basically just what Julie said, and one of my favorite things just about puppetry in general is taking something inanimate and what we call breathing life into it. And so, you know, that can be of this type of puppet, but also a shadow puppetry. It's that same idea as they're just pieces of paper and we get the audience to empathize with a piece of paper, which is just the magic of puppetry, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs>